everyone, and today I want to show you how you can get rich in Sky pretty fast. How can you do such thing, you may ask? Well, don't worry, because I will show you today. I am extremely professional at getting candles myself, so let's go. First tip I can give you is for you to only collect candle cakes. Candle cakes are really important to collect because they give a lot of wax for just one candle. Every day you will see two red candles in front of one of the maps. This means that there will be candle cakes in that area. Also, every day the red candles move on to the next map. As you can see, I'm in the tail up river right now, and I can already see two candle cakes. I really don't know why there are two of them, because usually there's only one here, but I guess it's just a weird bug. But I really don't mind it. There are usually six to seven candle cakes in the map. I think there's an extra candle cake because sometimes they have a event in sky where there's like an extra one which is pretty cool. Over here there's another candle cake and the candle cake locations they do change a little bit at times but they don't really change that much. Now we're going to the cave area. By getting these candle cakes, you can get a pretty good amount of candle wax and you can get candles a lot faster. A lot of Sky players will tell you that you need to do full candle runs in order to actually get a lot of candles. But that is really not true. Because the little tricks I will show you today will help you get rich in no time. And it won't even be that time consuming. Full candle runs usually take about 3-4 to four hours to complete, and it's really time consuming, and no one really wants to do it. To be honest, when I was a new player in Sky, I did do full candle runs, but I don't do them anymore because they just took a lot of time out of my day. Here I'm gonna show you a candle that took me a really long time to find. Another good way to get a lot of candle wax at once is to open the store. But as a solo player, it is pretty difficult to find someone to help you open the door. Don't tell anyone I skipped the candle at the temple. Almost always, somewhere in this area, there will be this candle. Usually it's pretty annoying to find. I found it. Now we're at the absolute most useful area to candle run. I recommend you to candle run this area every day. Every day of your life, please just do it. Now let's see how many candles we got from all of that. And it looks like we got 5 candles. You know what, I would say this is pretty good. Considering that we skipped most of the wax. Next up I'm showing you all of the permanent candle cakes and their locations. We're starting from the very first map called Dawn of Isle. And this candle cake, I would say it's kinda tricky to find. I would say that most new players probably never notice this area, but... When you go to the side of the map, you'll find this hole. In order to get here, you need to have at least three forest spirits collected. Now there's just this really long tunnel that's a pain to go through. After all of that, you'll find these three glowing balls and uh, a candle cake. When I started playing, there was no candle cake here. Next up, you'll have to go all the way up to the temple, then go through this hole, which again takes a really long time to fly through. Then you'll arrive at the store, and don't worry, you don't actually have to go to the door. All you need to do is just fly up, and then you have finally arrived here. And then you can get this nice candle cake. Next up, we're doing forest, because we already did tail up here. Also, please don't mind the fact that this footage is recorded the day after. And, uh, well, this voiceover, I'm doing this voiceover after like a week I've recorded this. So, yeah, please don't mind me. This here is not a permanent candle cake, this is just a regular one. Over here, there is yet another hole, and I don't know what the game developers have with holes. This here is a permanent candle cake, and it's always here. This candle cake I just showed you is the only permanent candle cake in this area. The rest I'm gonna show you are just from the daily candle cakes.
Usually there is a candle cake in this area, but this time there isn't. And usually the candle cake is in the middle here. Next up, I'm going to Alley of Triumph. Over here, there are two permanent candle cakes. I actually have a lot of nostalgia with this area because uh, Season of Dreams was my first season where I bought an adventure pass. First candle cake is over here. The second candle cake is actually really annoying to get, but I'll show you guys anyways. Basically, you have to fly up the mountain, and in order to do that in a much easier way, you just fly up using the clouds. Next up, you have to activate this boat. Now we just hop on the boat and just wait. This honestly just takes so long. Once we have watched through this annoying, unskippable cutscene, we can just walk forward and we'll find the candle cake. And here it is. Next up is Colden Wasteland, but there are no permanent candle cakes in Colden Wasteland. I'm putting on the chibi mask so I can get a candle cake easier. With the chibi mask, you can chibi fall, and if you guys want to know more about that, I can make a video about it. There's the store with a candle cake behind it, but it takes four people to open, and sometimes you just can't find enough people to open it. So I'm using the chibi mask to get into this room. Now I went home and put on my regular mask because I don't want to wear the chibi mask anymore. Now we're in the second floor and here there are two candle cakes. One is over here. And the other one is behind this door. Now I can finally open it because there are three other players here. I will be skipping the next floor because there are no permanent candle cakes there. Now we're on the fourth floor. And here there are a lot of permanent candle cakes. One of the candle cakes is next to the spirit. The second candle cake is in the middle of this thing. I don't really know what to call it. And the third one is on top of this floating island. These are all of the candle cakes for this floor. The next floor I will skip because there's no candle wax there. The last permit candle cake is on top of this island and it's actually kind of hidden, but it's behind this thing. And this is how many candles I got from all of that. As you can see, it's a lot. And it didn't even take that long to get all of those candles. Okay, so I apologize for being in a completely different setting and having a different outfit. I actually procrastinated on making this video for like two weeks. I did actually want to share three tips with you guys, but I kind of forgot what the third one was. And now I'm doing the voiceover and I really don't know what it was. But it's okay, because I'm still gonna share the second tip with you all. The second tip is that you should visit the Kaiser and the Grandma's place every day. I will be starting with the Kaiser, and for those who don't really know what it is, I will explain to you. The Kaiser is located on the Century Islands, and every two hours after reset, there is this event. The event lasts for like 10 minutes, and during that time, it will give you candle wax. It is pretty useful, and you'll get quite a bit of candle wax. Now I'm at the geyser and you probably have noticed that I have only 7 candles and it's because I bought this mask. While I was waiting for this event to start, this little chibi came up to me and wanted to light me up. And then they just flew away. Bonk. Also another thing I noticed while waiting was that there was this like really tiny player. And it was pretty fascinating. 
Once the event starts, the Skyser will start giving you candle wax every minute. You have to burn all of these little spiky things and you'll get candle wax. The Skyser was added to the game around 2021, around late spring. Before this, there was no way to get candle wax except for candle running. And well, except for buying candles. Basically all you do is just stay near the geyser for 10 minutes and collect candle wax. I didn't use most of the footage because it was just 10 minutes of me collecting candle wax, but yeah, the geyser is really useful to do every day. Now we're at the Kramos place, which is in the sunny forest, and here it's basically the same thing. You wait for the event to start, and it will give you candle wax for 10 minutes. I forgot to record it, but from the geyser I got 4 candles. Well, actually 5 candles, because before that I had one unforged candle. When this event starts, then Krama rings the bell, and... Basically, she's like making you dinner, but it's candle wax. This event starts every two and a half hours after reset. Then all you gotta do is just wait for the little things to appear and burn them. And then you get candle wax. After the event, grandma will leave and before she does that, she will hug you. Now it's time to see how many candles we got and it seems like we got five candles. And I'd say that's pretty good. Now we're at the end of the video and these are all of the tips that I could give you. I hope that this helped you and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have never posted Sky content before so I hope that this video does well. If any of you have any video ideas or suggestions then you can leave them in the comments. I'm sorry if this video is not the best quality, it's because I just haven't done anything like this before. But I tried my best. And I'm also sorry for this video being a little inconsistent, I just procrastinated but thank you for watching this video until the end and i'll see you guys very soon bye